Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Transport Fever. I'm Nexus. Uh, we are currently on the Vogsphere Ferry heading into, well, it says Green Bay Annex, but it's really the Asheron Annex. And then we are going to break waters back to Vogsphere. I told you that in this episode I would possibly help you out and give you the list of mods that I was using, and so what I did is I recorded that for you, all the way down the mod list for everything that's active. So why don't you take five seconds to enjoy the intrepid intro, and we'll get today's agenda underway. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So we're just sending out our oil train, or I'm sorry, our fuel train. It's going to go from the fuel pickup place and drop it off to whatever we named that first town. I can't even remember the name of the town. Um, it's over here somewhere. Oh, Purina, 161. It's going to pick it up over here and drop it off here. But we need to let it run once, so we're going to put it on high speed in order for it to get the orders, and then we will set it to only wait for a full load. The trucks are already in motion for all cities, and uh, the next place we need to do is get fuel going over to Athens. Alright, so we have heavily spent time on freight in the last episode or two, and I think that it's high time that we start working on passengers again. So I think we should put a station here in um, Asheron, and then go up here to what is now Jersey City. I was thinking into El Paso, and then we can go from Jersey City through Garland and then down to Detroit into Knoxville and then El Paso can go up to Burbank and Orlando and then it can go from this direction into San, uh, Santa Ana and Torrance and that will make kind of a nice little um, railway network kind of thing on that side of the continent or we can do something different anyway uh, either way we need to start a train station in Asheron we need to get it down here by the boat so while that stuff's running back there and doing its thing we're gonna go over here and do this thing I'm gonna increase to 120 we only need one station. Only one train is going to be coming out of here. Um, I'd like to get as close as possible to the boat ramp. These boat docks, the chance of them actually being upgraded later is probably nil. Um, I'd like to make it level if possible. Now I'd have to do it up here. Is it still connected? It is. They'll just have to kind of walk up here a little bit, which is fine. So we'll put that in there. And then let's go over here to Jersey City and find out exactly where this is right here. Right, okay, so if we were to put a station in there, we could go down here to Garland, and we could also go up to... Do I want to do it that way? No, I think what I want to do is... Uh, I want to make them go... Okay, I've got a better idea. So, it's going to go from Orlando to Burbank to El Paso, from Torrance to Santa Ana to El Paso. El Paso is going to be like kind of a hub station, and this line is going to go from Asheron to Jersey City to Garland 
to Detroit to Knoxville to El Paso. So any any passengers going from these five cities right here will have to pass through Knoxville, Detroit, oh, Detroit, Oceanside, uh, Garland, and then back to Jersey City, and then over here to Astron in order to get to the boat on this side. And that will create a havoc of passengers all along the network. Sounds good. Well, obviously, we're not going to get all of these connected today, but we can get probably quite a few of them going. So I want to delete this. I'll put in a flex station. Uh, uh, there only needs to be one track, right? No, it needs to be two. Um, I'm going to put this up here, maybe. I'd like to get it flatter. Maybe we don't put it there, then maybe we put it over here. Sounds like a better idea. So we'll put it here, right? And then, uh... I don't know why I have all these streets added. I think it's just because I'm used to having them added. Uh, let's delete this. this way a little bit, and then this way a little bit. There we go. Perfect. All right, great. We need to flatten this out. So I don't want to make a too much of a hill or a bridge or anything. I can't make any bridges, so I don't want to make too much of a hill though. All right, and then we need to go to Garland. And we'll say that the station can go, technically it can go like right here. It's kind of close to the industrial area, but hey, I mean, whatever works. Actually, we can make it go right past the industrial area. Let's go out to there. Grab some road, connect those up. This, there you go, cool. That's going to be interesting, definitely. All right, and then next... We want to go to Detroit, and we'll probably run right along this side out here. It's probably a good idea. Uh, let's delete some of the road. Run this station right here, and then we'll go to Oceanside, and we'll run his station right here. this what are we looking at not too bad we can run right past the the plastics factory there nice that'll be it it actually looked nice I think this will look pretty cool remember we're at a no bridge challenge so no matter what we do we can't make bridges I'm gonna connect you up there you go just going to double track the whole thing now, so we don't have to worry about it later. Yes, yes, I know. The, the stations aren't connected up. It'll be okay. Everything is going to be great. We will signal later. Let's just try and get hooked up for now. Way. Is it connected up to the right side? It is. Okay, so we just pull this through. Let's do the tunnel already so that it doesn't get caught on something. Throw this in there. And then this needs to go... This way. Should have done this side first, honestly. So we need to run past that oil factory. Nope. No 
bridges. We'll do that instead. Bam. Hey, you see these uh, kind of out in the middle of nowhere sometimes. They're little, uh, they're like little, uh, they're sand bridges, but they're not actual bridges, so. You know what I mean by a bridge. You can run, a, you can run something under it. Um, and if you mean a tunnel, well, tunnels are allowed. Alright, this is going to be the most interesting part because this kind of goes slanted uphill. Turn on the contour lines. Yep, see it goes kind of uphill. So that's going to be interesting. Let's try and see if we can see what we can do as far as keeping it, you know, as flat as possible without, without bridging. Um, go this way. I don't want to go straight up, if you don't mind. Um. straight up like that now. What I will do is go back this way a little bit. There. Alright. I know. It's like we're just going back and forth. Well yeah, but that's because it's going uphill and we're not allowed to use bridges. Tunnels are one thing, but I don't even want a tunnel. I don't even want a tunnel up that. I mean, it would look hideous. Absolutely god awful. This looks like it's kind of like out in the country. You're climbing a mountain. It looks a lot better this way. Trust me. I have uh, sunk over 2,000 hours in this game. Um, it is well worth not doing a bunch of tunnels going uphill. So there's that. Is it all connected? You hear my cat in the background. I apologize. She acts like she's starved for attention. Alright. She's really not. Alright, so that <coughs> that goes there. Oh, there's a shadow now. I didn't there didn't used to be shadows before, I don't think. Maybe I just never noticed it. So, we'll need all these. I never turned off that autosave. I probably never will either, because I always forget about it. So, we'll put all these in. At least nobody would be stuck in the tunnel. Or at least you at least hope not. I know we're gonna have to extend these stations later, so that's why I'm putting the signal so far down. And you'll notice that I'm not putting in diamonds uh, between the stations because I don't plan on making these point-to-point -point systems. This is just going to automatically be one uh, one uh, one line. If they don't like it, well, tough. I have enough uh, I have enough cash being made to be able to carry the the company for a year or two. while this gets uh, properly lined in and letting passengers know, hey, there's a, this new awesome train that goes up the hill and around and down and you know, everything else. I should probably put another 
things in there. Something like that. All right, and then obviously we're gonna need. Probably put it up here would be easier. So it's back to this. Get train. Go to depot. Let's do it. Um, let's put it over here. Actually, I don't know because I might. No, I don't think we might. Well, let's just do it here. I don't want to have to have to have to. Maybe maybe not. Let's. Uh, Got this. Right. And then um, slip switch this and slip switch this. Right. So they can go out either way. All right. So now we need signals. Uh, one here and one here. Thank you very much back to this right all right so this is going to be mm, what should this be mm. i'm not sure that's a good question i know what it's going to be it's going to be the prometheus line Just put Prometheus. Because it's a pretty big line. And we'll make it uh, burnt orange. We'll say one, two, three, four, oops, four, five, six, seven. Now the question is, did I put a diamond down here? No, I didn't. I didn't have to. We just put that in there. Okay, so for now, that's fine. Because um, it's going to end up connecting or going around the mountainside there and connecting back up to Knoxville. And actually, what might happen is I might just use this same line. So it'll come down here, it'll hit here, and then... Um, oh, how can I do that? How can we do that? Okay, they could come down this way, and then come back down and hit Detroit, and then go back out into Garland. We'll figure it out. I'll mess around with it, and then uh, I'll test a couple of things out, and then when we come back in, it'll just lay it out the way that it had it. So, first thing we need to do is we need to look at this, and put in uh, a couple of stops. Let's put one of these. Too bad. One, two, three, four, five. And then this and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually we'll put it here. Right. And then this one. So I don't think we'll be expanding the station because <coughs> it'll only be this line, this Prometheus line. Uh, and then we need uh, one, two, three, four, five. I guess we'll just do five. And that should be good for that. And come over here. Probably need to connect this up. Right, and then need one of these. It's not cheap, is it? 
Well, that's what that is. I'm going to trigger fingers over here. Um, we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six. Just to be safe. I'll just put six. Right. There's that. And then Asheron's already got its peoples going around. Alright, so. Next thing we need is a couple of uh, these things. Probably one in every town would be would suffice it to say. Don't delete anything, please. Put you there. There. You there. And you like right here. Perfect. Right. We need uh, how many lines? One, uh, two, three, four, five total. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we only need four. Prometheus lines aren't even made. So six. This will be, uh, <clears throat> for now it's going to be, I guess it's going to be Oceanside. Um, oops. Narcissus Transit, the escape shuttle. We could have put escape shuttle transit, but that would seem kind of weird. So one, two, three, four, oh, four. Five, six, and then let's use the land hours. And one, two, three, four. And they're all going to Narcissus Transit. There you go. And then this is Detroit, but it's going to actually be um, Parasite Transit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess it could kind of be considered that with uh, the tail right here. All right, so that's uh, so we'll name this parasite. Oops, oops, damn. And then this is gonna be uh, what do we name this? So over here can be Garland is the name of a character in Final Fantasy, but we're not doing that. So let's make this uh, we'll make it new transit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. forget to put the freaking road vehicles on. Right. One, two, three, four. And those are going to go on uh, Parasite Transit. Right. And then, uh, this is Newt Transit, right? Yeah. So we'll name this Newt. It's going to be new transit. And this can be. Actually, no. Uh, just call it colony. And, and this can be colony transit. One, 
one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> Excuse me. I came out of nowhere. I will say one, two, three, four, for colony transit. Alright, and then we need a train. Actually, we need one, two, three, four. We need four trains. Four. Ooh, four trains. Yes, a heavy mogul. We just got that. Uh, how much do you do? 70. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot, too. You want 2.3 million per engine. That's two, four. That's eight. That's over 10 million just for the engines I don't think so um, let's do the four six zero ten wheeler we'll do one and then we've got like wagons that do 45 there we go and this does how much 47 okay, is there another one that does 45 no I don't think so oh come on surely Okay, well, we'll just use the coach, the short, early 4Ws, and we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4. <coughs> Alright, that's not working. Do we want 40? Um, yeah, let's do 40 for now, and then we need to copy it. There we go. And you're going to go on Prometheus. And then we don't need line six because we didn't even need line five. All right. All right. So we need this one to go and do its thing as quickly as possible. Come on, I need you to leave uh, the area as quickly as possible. Because these trains are just going to be cut out exactly. They're going to be costing us money just sitting there. Um, okay, and then you can go on Prometheus. It would be awesome if I could the other ones go the other way. So that's one, two, three, four. Four trains. One train between each two cities. Already starting to get passenger build up in the cities. That's good. Along the bus lines, anyway. Especially in Colony. Holy crap. Oh. How many did you pick up? <coughs> All six. Wow. Okay. to go on Prometheus when he gets around that corner. On to Prometheus. Those are just new cars that are going faster than we need them to at the moment. I'm not going to fix none of this. I'm, I think it looks... It adds character to the, the landscape. You should be coming back. You should just be getting there. I'm not taking off. Right. 3 or 40. Uh oh. My computer's doing some stuff. It's kind of lagging me out. Grand. As soon as he gets to the the corner up there, we'll throw you on Prometheus as well. There you go. And then we will follow you along because you're the final one. So we'll f it's gonna it's doing some crazy stuff right now, my computer.
All right, so now that we've got this line established, once it starts actually moving around, it will actually start to be a money printing machine, uh, especially when we can start to upgrade the engines and get more powerful, uh, get more powerful locomotives in order to carry more cars and more passengers at the time. So the next thing I think that we need to do is because all this profit that keeps coming in that is originally going to cost us, we just spent 10 million, but that's okay, from the profit that we had. I think what we need to do is go over here. Um, does anybody remember where we put the uh, the pork barrels? I want to say we put them on the outside somewhere. Does anyone remember where we put the pork barrels? I could have swore we put them by the oil factory. Maybe we put them by the crude part? I'm not seeing them. Oh, uh, it's not good. I will have to go back and look. I was going to pay off some of the pork barrel, but uh, I don't think that uh, I don't seem to remember where we put them. It's got to be at one of these um, factories, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't seem to remember where we put the pork barrel uh, build up. There was only 20 of them. Guess that would make it a little harder to find. Anyway, I'll go back and look and see exactly where I put them at. Since uh, I really didn't put them where I thought I did. And then in the next episode, we will pay back some of the pork barreling. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please leave me a like and a comment. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. As you know, the chaos is mightier than the sword here. Um, if you're new here, please hit the red subscribe button. It helps me. It helps you. I get to make more videos, and you get to watch more videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.